Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to uninstall Windows 11 updates. So there are two easy solutions to achieve this. And the first one is to uninstall updates from Windows settings. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then make sure to click on Windows update on the left pane. Now on the right side click on update history and afterwards make sure to scroll way down until you find the related settings section. Now in here just click on uninstall updates and afterwards, as you can see, you're being taken to the installed updates window. Now the updates we have to focus on are the ones from Microsoft Windows and they are right here. So make sure to click on the latest one or the one that is problematic to your PC and then simply select the uninstall option. Afterwards, just restart your PC for the changes to take place. And another great solution is to uninstall Windows updates using command prompt. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window, make sure to type the following command and then press enter after this command. So as you can see, these are the latest updates that happened on Windows 11. Each update will have a specific hotfix ID underneath it. So just make sure to note down the update that you want to uninstall or the one that's problematic to you. So after taking down a note of the update that you want to uninstall, make sure to type the following command. So as you can see, I typed in hotfix ID, but that means that you have to replace it with the version or the update that you want to uninstall. So let's say if I want to uninstall this KB55635, I'll just type instead of hotfix ID, KB55635. So that was the standard idea for the command. So make sure to type in the update that you want to remove. Now simply press on enter and then you'll be asked to confirm once again if you want to uninstall the update. Afterwards just restart your PC and check if the problem still persists or just to apply the changes. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.